Hola community, it's Pablo Vasquez with a day to remember. Today, it's the first release, maintenance release, of the first LTS release, the long-term support. So for the next two years, you should see something like this, an update, a maintenance update with a few bugs, but not so, no, not a few actually. In this one, there is 33 bug fixes because it's been like three weeks since the release. And in the next, uh, actually in the next week or early July, you should see the next next release 2.83.2 and so on and so forth it's like a rolling release like like on your app you don't know which version of an app you have on your phone usually you just you just keep updating it and it becomes more stable and in this case unlike apps on the phone this one is only gonna get more stable there's only bug fixes there's no new features that is for 2.90 but this one is very safe to use in production if you're like working on a on a film on a project that you don't want to risk it by using the amazing new features in 2.90 you can stay stick with 2.83 and be sure that this one is going to be more stable even than the 2.83.0 so where to get it blender.org the where where the magic happens you're gonna see here an announcement this video i'm not gonna make a new video for every point release because there was gonna there's going to be one every week or so uh when, whenever it's needed basically but in here you're gonna see it and find it in the front page it's also gonna be highlighted here then you can download just as a regular build you're gonna see the point one just to make it easy to to see to spot when there is a new update eventually there will be an add-on, a way to check from Blender if there is a new update, but that's not there yet. So you have to go to blender.org or you have to check on, you have to follow Blender on social media. You can find the links here on the description to all the social media. So yeah, that's it really. If you want to read more, you can click on learn more about LTS. And here you're going to see a little bit more like what it's planned. When is the next LTS? It's actually next year, around this time, actually. Uh, yeah, actually every year there should be, at around the same time, there should be a new LTS supported for two years. For the change log, what is fixed? What has been fixed? In this LTS page, you're gonna find the download links or also you're gonna find the change log. Why the download links? Because this way you can go back and you can see uh, in, in slash download, you're gonna see only the latest, but here you can see, um, you can see the history in case you wanna go back just in case, should be very safe to update though. So here are all the bugs that have been fixed. Everything from like glitches in the, the I don't know, the viewport. Remember the last release had a, a big change in the way the draw manager and the grid pencil was working. So there are a lot of fixes in that area. And there is uh, even more if you wanna learn about these fixes or the ones that are coming in here in the learn more uh, section, you're gonna see all the like everything all the commits and the tasks and the status of each one of them you can see here that they're uh, waiting for a fix so they're new and the 2.83.1 actually this is all the fixes that are applied you can see the commit where it was applied and you can see the task the bug report so Thank you to everybody that has been um, reporting bugs. This is what makes Blender stable, just reporting bugs, not just waiting for it to magically happen, which something happens, but it's if you uh, report it, it's gonna help so much. So yes, go download it. If like with no, there should be no risks. It is, um, this should be very safe to update. So go tell your uh, friends or your sys admins or everybody to just update to a more stable Blender 2.83. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye, bye. <laughs>